Well, now it is time for our next uh, guest, and we're going to be looking at something that, you know, is very exciting. But again, Crystal, let me ask you another question. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite outdoor sport to do in Ghana? Well, something really different would be that's not done like the usual soccer and basketball is. I played field hockey once. That was really? different. Have you ever done anything on, on little wheels going? Skating, maybe. <laughs> Did you do that? I feel I've like... done skating before. <laughs> I've done skating and I've done rollerblading. And let's just say I fell a couple of times, but once you get it, you get it right. <laughs> yeah. Well, now it is time for our next guest, who started Skates in the City. So let's have a look. Introduce yourselves and tell us, you know, how you got here. Okay, my name is Angela. Um, we've been doing skates in the city now for the last three months. And to be honest, it's one of the greatest things that I've done since I've been in Ghana. Wow. And you? My name is Nayota, and she's my business partner. We started skating in the city together three months ago. And I can say it's going really well. I'm really wow. pleased with the program. Now, how did you guys come up with this thing? It was back last year, actually, in March. I think we just found it. Ghana sometimes to be a little bit limited at times of things to do for fun. Mm -hmm. So we thought um, we used to have a lot of fun doing roller skating. Um, again, Naota has a son. She finds it at times quite challenging to take him places, which is active, fun, and also at the same time educational. So it was then when roller skates in, skates in the city and roller skating came about. You guys, it says skates in the city and you have the ice skating. So, you know, we came here today and we're like, whoa, where's the ice? in Ghana to have ice? Okay, we were using what you call magic ice. Okay. So it's not real ice, it's magic ice. So we started off doing that, but currently at the moment we're having challenges because of the weather climate. Did you guys know that there would be a challenge when you started with the ice skating? No <laughs> way! We thought we had it all sorted. We thought, okay, so we shipped over this magic ice arena and um, we had everything that works in the UK. Um, so obviously we just thought we can just copy the usual pattern and obviously we brought it down here, we launched and it was a good day. You obviously you've informed the public something for the first time will be launched in Ghana. You have everything right, your marketing and when it actually comes into action, it can be a disappointment. But due to public demand and also our own self-perseverance, we were able to bring back literally our original plan so if i take you back there it was back last year in march where we actually wanted to do roller skating okay as christmas was approaching we changed our plan we thought let's be more innovative and introduce ice skating for christmas time that's, yeah. that's what we did <laughs> so we planned advance we bought the equipment from outside and we shipped it down and it didn't work so to the point where it didn't work we actually shut down Okay. Um, for us, it's very important that we give customers what they expect from us, and if we're not delivering that, then it's unfair. So we actually shut, shut down, went back to our original plan of roller skating, and we're just literally sticking for now at what we're good at. Wow. Like Neota said, ice skating will be back, but when we come back, it'll be the big bang. Did you guys, did you grow up in Ghana? No, no, no. I, I moved to Ghana two years ago. Oh, wow. From the UK. Wow. And yeah. for you? I moved to Ghana four years ago, just about four years ago. I from the UK. Born and raised in the UK, but my parents gave me utmost strong Ghanaian <laughs> upbringing, um, which I'm now grateful for. Obviously, growing up as a Ghanaian <laughs> in the UK was sometimes challenging. At times, okay, a bit embarrassing. Like, why do we have to do things like this? But I'm ever so grateful because one, obviously, I'm I'm a girl, so I understand the language. I can speak the language in my own way. But um, <laughs> yes, obviously, we're familiar with the environment. It takes time, though. It takes time. But um, Ghana is a wonderful place to be part of. I know being in Ghana has given us this opportunity. I can't honestly say that I would have had this opportunity or taking up this opportunity back in the UK, I'll be honest with you. So 
Um, the garden's a wonderful place. Again, like any environment, it can be challenging. I mean, even introducing skating in Ghana is very different. People are a bit more fearful with the sports, what have you. But again, it's nice knowing that you're the first to introduce a establishment where people can come and skate at any time and have people that will support them and teach them how to skate. So yeah. Our prices are very affordable. Okay. Um, for us, we're, it's more about introducing the sport, okay. a fun sport, rather than really about profit margins. So for us, we're allowing people to come in for the first time. People that wouldn't think they would be able to skate or would find it a very expensive kind of sport. We're allowing those people to actually come and taste it for the first time. We've kept our rates very affordable. Communities are always welcome to come down. Schools are more than happy to contact us. We've worked with NGOs. We've worked with academies, we're working with the schools now and any other organisation that wants to come in and have a fun day with us, we're, we're more than we're happy to hear from them. Are adults allowed to come? Because I feel like there's a lot of young children. Oh. Right. Do you? Yeah, right now, yeah. In the day comes for children, but what we're trying to do is pick up now, it's like a Friday jam, oh. with a DJ, you know, lighting, a bit of a oh, disco. disco. Yeah. So you should definitely have to come down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> What advice do you have for all the young entrepreneurs watching you right now who would potentially want to set up something like this in Ghana or any kind of business in general? So what I would say, it's not going to be easy, but you definitely can do it. Never give up. Some people might even laugh at your idea, some people will fully support your idea, but as long as you have the passion and the heart, just keep going. You. Sometimes you don't know how it's going to happen or how you're going to make it but surprises come along which you don't even foresee and it always works out. It takes time, don't think that everything you learn everything overnight. You learn every day whether it's from yourself, whether it's even from a member of public giving you advice, whether it's from um, somebody who's even into the sport and wants to offer their services. Don't give up, keep going regardless. As long as your heart's in it, everything will work out. So I put my foot here. What do you do with your body? You stay forward a bit? You keep your body forward? Okay. I'm afraid for this child. Be <laughs> very. The board. When you do it, you have to leave it at the hand. I'm not moving. So you don't do it left and right. You have to do it left and right. Yes. Left and right. <laughs> left and right. Yes. Hold on. Pretty, can you just stand here for me? What if I hit you? You'll cry. I'll cry. Anyway. Who do you guys think is going to win? Oh, it's going to be a draw.
I'm going to beat you. No, but it's not fair because you're going to like be pushing and stuff. No. Okay. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Hold on. Somebody has to count. Do you know what the funniest part about this whole thing was? You fell. No, not even. <laughs> I just thought that they started out with it being ice skating in the city, only to find out it was too hot in Ghana. Are you telling me they didn't know that before? No, but they had like special, special ice and special everything, and they'd been told that it would be good for these temperatures. Mm -hmm. But clearly it wasn't. So somebody... they had like a room? Didn't they have no, a room it was where outside. it incubated everything? Mm -mm. The, what was on the floor is like, it's fake ice. So yeah. it's not actually cold. But even but abroad and stuff, they have it, it has to be in a room. Kept if it's ice, yeah. Cool. There's no way that was going to work. <laughs> I could have told them that before it happened. <laughs> well, I am excited because we do have some giveaways. All you have to do is, as you saw in the video, Mabanga and I, our communications manager, we had a little, you know, a little... Competition. Competition, thank you, that's the word, competition. And who did best? That is my question to you today. Who did best? Was it me or Mabanga? <laughs> so just let us know. Go into our social media, let us know. And you can win a skating pass for two. You can go there, get some classes, and have a jolly good time. So definitely go there. I definitely vote for Mabanga. Oh, I think he's so definitely... He, I mean, can you balance? You I can balance, balance very well. All right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Choose the winner on there. She gave herself a little advert, but let's take let's take a break at this moment. We'll be back with some more exciting and inspiring stories as we promised from the beginning. Still to come, Patty Gray shows us what it's like a day in her life as an event planner.